Hi there, I am Kathy Crow and this is um, the Crow Garden. And I think our sprinklers have finally been blown out. <laughs> so the sprinkler guy might ring our doorbell, but hopefully he's done, I don't know. Um, I, I hope my sound is on, because it wasn't earlier, and I'm trying another card. So I'm gonna swing you around and put you where you can see my desk and where I'll be working. And um, on the paper, you can see that I've got my email there. If you want to um, send me an email, you can always message me. Uh, and then also, um, here are the dates for our, my workshops that are coming up really quick. We're gonna do some Christmas um, stack of, um stamp a stack that means you get to do a whole bunch and this is one of the ones we're going to be working on and um well there's just going to be a whole bunch of things that we're going to be working on so anyway i hope that you are able to um see that um okay and that if you are interested you can can join us and then one other thing that i'm going to be doing is, uh, well, here's this card. I did this one earlier, but like I said, the sound wasn't on my video at all, so I decided I better do it again. And so if anyone is out there watching, please tell me if you can hear me. Because <laughs> if you can't, I might as well just, uh, well, I guess I don't have to stop, but it's just that I'm not sure how to add captions to things. So anyhow, um, I'm gonna just move our camera just a little bit again and hopefully get a little bit better shot of my workspace and then the other thing that we're going to be doing I wanted to do one thing for um, uh, a day for um, uh, for Halloween and um, I did I'm doing two today because I messed one up there was something I needed to tell you guys and that was um, about rubber cement because I use rubber cement a lot for things and that's really why I'm doing this video again is because if you use rubber cement it works fine for except for on glitter paper and when you are doing glitter you want to use um, your fast fuse your snail or um, other adhesives because the rubber cement can interact with the glue they use to put this glitter on and your stuff won't stick like this this is going to go on my card that i'm making i'm making a whole bunch of cards and thank you aunt sandy for <laughs> well aunt sandy to my kids you know um for ordering because this is one of the cards i'm doing for you but if I had put this with rubber cement, it would fall off. And I apologize if any of you have gotten cards in the past where stuff has fallen off. It is because I didn't know rubber cement interacted so badly with things. So for this card, um, you're gonna start with a piece of eight and a half by 11 card stock, and you're gonna cut the eight and a half down to four and a quarter, and then just fold it in half so you're looking at a portrait um landscape and then i've already cut out these cute little bat punches there should be three of them here we go here's the other one uh it just comes as one punch and um you uh let's see do i have it handy here i probably don't i thought i did but i don't see it but anyway it's just one punch and you get these three little guys and i, I did it out of the black glossy paper so that's going to look really cool and then this is the DSP. It has bats. We've been using the bat side a lot. But in, instead of doing bats, we're going to do this side um, and give that a try. I haven't done this side too much. It looks really good on some things, but um, I don't know. You don't always want a black background. Well, I don't use black with yellow <laughs> a lot. I actually like black as a color, but black with yellow. I don't use that too much. And green, lime green. These are not colors I would have probably thought about. I'm sure I saw this on Pinterest somewhere, this idea, and thought it was really cute. And then I kind of played around with this. This is how I want it to, to look when we get, get it stamped. I could just stick it on there, but I think I'm going to just show you kind of what to do. If you use the Spooky Sweets, um, there's this really neat little um sky background thing um we're gonna get the card out of there for a minute so you can see what i'm doing um you're gonna just use 
Um, I, I cut kind of a small, <laughs> maybe I should get my other block out. My husband keeps saying, what is that squeaky noise in there? And it's, is that you? <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's me, but it's actually the chair. It's not really my, he was concerned that my, I'm, I'm getting squeaky in my old age. So if you take your black and just stamp that on there. I'm going to kind of stamp it there to see how dark do I want it. I'm not sure that I want it as dark as all that, so we'll stamp it off and get maybe two stamp offs there and just put a cup little bit of that little bit goes a long way. And then we want the bats. I the bats are in this set too. I've got I'm going to use the punches. Yeah, I am, but I'm also going to stamp um the little bat stamp that that comes with this set. And I'm mainly doing that because it'll give it a little bit of a 3D effect, but also it's going to kind of show me where where I want those bats. And um, I might actually stick them off a little bit. We'll see. I put them in a little different place because he they were too close to the cat's head, head when I did it earlier. And then the other um, stamp we're doing is uh, from the cauldron bubble has the little kitty cat and the broom so let's do the broom and we grab this back in here we'll put the broom on there because that's going to determine where that cat is going to sit because I want the broom to be kind of going up you know I want it to look like it's flying up not too much though because I don't want it to hit that that bat. So that's close enough. That's pretty good. And now we can put the little kitty on there. Now I don't like cats all that much because, well actually I, I take that back. I do really like nice cats. But how many cats are there out there that are really nice? There are some, but a lot of them are they're pretty fussy, pretty high maintenance. But this one looks cute. I don't know whether it's high maintenance or not, but it's pretty cute. And if you're a cat lover, I apologize because um, <laughs> uh, some of us are dog people, some of us are cat people, okay? I kind of like dogs better, but cats have their place. And if I'd lived in a house where um, we had cats, I'm sure I would have liked them better, but we didn't. We had dogs when I was growing up, and our dog was called Princess, so you can you can just know by that how we felt about dogs, how we treated them, okay? They were important members of the family of Princess, and then we also got a little dog once that was named Paco, and I'm not sure what Paco means in Spanish. I bet, I bet, uh, I hope it's not something bad. So I'm gonna just cover, color the little kitty yellow, I'm sure Paco, it rhymed with taco and I was really young, you know, so I thought it was cute. Um, this is, I want him to be pretty yellow because this is very gray. This is a, a, this is that smoky slate gray cardstock. So this is a very bright yellow, but it's not, you know, too bright <laughs> on, on gray. That looks pretty good. These are my little Tombos, the actual pens that I'm using just because, um, they have the they have the colors that I wanted for these the broom and the cat and the um broom handle too is the brown shade that I want so that's what I'm getting color all of that when you are coloring um I I actually did it all really pretty dark and that's I sort of flubbed my black line a little bit there but if I'd left a little bit of light like the gray as a white line that would have looked good um you might want to think about that when you're doing highlights and then I guess I forgot where those little stars I want those to be um colored we're gonna do the stars yellow and we'll put the gold this is like a, a um, I don't know, a hay gold kind of, you know, color. The Tombos only come numbered. This is 985. They don't have cute names. So there's that. That's going to go on. We're going to go and put this on here. We're going to put a little ribbon on it. And we're going to put this on it. And we're going to put those on it. And then we'll be all done. I guess I could, should put a little sentiment on it. Let's see what we've got. 
We've got Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat, Bubble Bubble. Oh, we've got Your Spooktacular. That's kind of cute. Hmm. I still like Batty for You. <laughs> there are bats. I could put Batty for You, but I've used that one a lot, so I think we'll... I think we'll skip it. There's Party Animal. That one's kind of cute. We'll put that one on there. It's kind of fun. And I would probably do it in color, except for it's not going to really show up anyway. Um, if I did it in color. And I don't want to put any other things on here. We're going to just stick this to the side over here. Okay. So this little cat is all ready for Halloween. Very cute. Okay, so I think we're gonna put a dimensionals on this. And I'm gonna use the little mini ones because I have a whole bunch of them right here. I don't use these as much as the big ones. They go a lot farther when they're so teeny tiny. Now one thing I wanted to mention was that um, I'm actually doing this little crow card, <laughs> crow rewards thing. So if you spend $50 with me, either ordering through Stampin' Up, if you spend $50 at Stampin' Up on my page, or if you come to a couple of workshops and it, it it's, you know, for me, for a workshop, like, you know, uh, it's a, it's $50 you get a, um, when you spend $50, you get a, um, a stamp on your crow card. And then when you get the crow card all filled up, I will give you a $50 spending spree at Stampin' Up! on the house as a special thank you to you. So um, I think I want that ribbon underneath. We're going to slide it under there and put it like this. Put that there okay and then we'll tie it over here that's better anyway um i just would appreciate any business that you want to send my way we're going to have a lot of fun at our little workshop um i it's been a long time since i did a stampin up stamp stack and the, uh, last time i ever did it i was not the I was just a guest, and so it's a lot, <laughs> a lot different when you're you're a guest. But it's a lot of work, you know. Even even for the the guests, there's a lot of stamping that goes on there. So okay, those are gonna stick really good because I used the <laughs> edges. I should have put that party animal down here. I think that might have looked better, but that's okay. Okay, there you go, and we're almost done. Okay, today is Justina Crow's birthday. She's um, hopefully ha having a great birthday. I wonder what it's like there. Today, I bet it's it's probably in the 60s out there today. It's sunny and beautiful, and uh, I am going to go outside and get some weeding done. We've got, I got almost the whole yard weeded except for uh, one tiny spot in the back and I think maybe one tiny spot in the front but pretty much all done it's looking nice and ready for fall oh, okay that little bow is kind of lopsided I think we'll sometimes it's just better not to fight a bow and just let it go where it wants to and then and then you're gonna have a lot more luck with it see there don't fight with things Okay, it's it's much easier to just let it be, right? That's what my kids would have thought, said when I was trying to tell them to behave a certain way. Is just, I'm fine. Let me be. I actually don't want the the ra ragged edges. That that might have looked okay, but I, I didn't really want that. Okay, we are set. Oh, I forgot my little. That's what I needed these mini dimensionals for. I want to put those on on these little bats. They are cute, and I don't need very many. Let me see here. I'm going to put one. This one's going to be off the edge just a little bit. See, I don't want it to be right on it. In fact, let's not put it on it at all. I want that on the on the edge where you can have it hanging off the, pa the page, so to speak. There's the time. I need to be done. 
We'll put that one there. And we'll put this one maybe here. And we'll put, no, we'll put this one here. How's that? Because I want this one up there. Okay, cute. I wonder how many trick-or-treaters we'll get today, this year. We sometimes have a whole bunch of them. I never know how many we're going to get. I don't know, for some reason this year, I just am thinking maybe we're not going to have so many because I think there are a lot more parties going on this year. I've, I've heard of a great many going on all around our neighborhood. And one of our churches that's really uh, close to us is doing something really cool. I think that, I think West Side Centers has got stuff going, and they usually do, but it just, it sounded really neat this year. Okay, so there we go. Cute party animal. I can write in there because it's so bright. All right, I'm gonna flip you back up and we're gonna see how that worked out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you next time, bye.